Yo, what it do, y'all? It is uh, your boy, the Wolf of Crypto here. Bring y'all another episode today of the Crypto Millionaire Journey. Ooh, we. Today's topic is the DeFi market and uh, these platforms that I'm using. That's helping me uh, farm me some, you know, some tokens, earn some money, yeah, you know, some daily interest, let that compound, you know, all that good stuff here. And also, of course, too, you know, today's episode is sponsored by those boys at Lipio. You guys uh, are looking for a cold wallet? Uh, Lipio might be the way to go. It's a cold storage cryptocurrency wallet. Uh, I got my Lipio Titan today. And oh, by the way, you are able actually to stake on it. Uh, keep that in mind. Uh, but it's air gaps, keys remote attacks away, anti tamper, protection against physical attacks. And it's trustless trust. Oh, yes, this multiple. Multi-signature support, which obviously uh, adds that extra security. And everything can be done with QR codes. Uh, so again, Elipio, check them boys out. And I'll give y'all my link so y'all can get, you know, might get a little discount, you know, a little something, something. But let's get back to, yes, the DeFi market, the DeFi world. I am on board. I am ready. Um, it is exciting times. Exciting, exciting times. So, as what we can do, there's a couple of these these platforms here. First, start with Pancake Swap. Um, I would say that's probably the first platform that I would say I've probably heard about as far as when it came to you know different finance pools and just the whole lending providing liquidity uh, I would say cake is the, the one I first kind of drew my attention but I you know what I did folks I, I I did something wrong I didn't do my research didn't do my homework because if I would did that hmm I would say somebody should have told me this because I should have been this a little bit earlier. And actually, you know, saw a couple of videos where people were like, you know, they, uh, they're they getting some solid passive income from these different farms. I'm like, what? No way. But truth be told, there's some... Uh, Interesting ways you can kind of create a little consistent little cash flow here because, again, yeah, I remember the distinction between the liquidity pool tokens and the farms, like the pool, uh, the stakings. Liquidity pool tokens, you know, you actually provide liquidity. So that's something you got to be careful. Hopefully, you got a lot of money to even get into that. But you know, you do earn on like every trade transaction. So yeah, the benefits there are like I said, there are some advantages. Uh, but there's always advantages and disadvantages. But I would say when it comes to these pools, as Pancake Swap calls them, they're the syrup pools, sipping on that scissor. Uh man, you can stake, of course, the token cake. And then you can earn some different tokens, some different projects, APRs, or you know, out of this world. Highest on here that I've seen is about a hundred and eleven. So I mean, hey, that's that's not too shabby, I would say, right? Getting a little hundred percent APY. Hello. That's solid, solid. But I like the fact too, of course, all these different platforms are on the Binance Smart Chain. So with that being said, or you can just use these platforms to get yourself some more BNB, which is something I've been kind of 
kind of been thinking about considering you know where B and B is currently at. And that's another thing too that kind of plays in factor with this whole little defy market is uh gaining I would say at, you know a comfortable price, uh considering that you know you are staking a coin that could potentially go up. So it's like all right that goes up, obviously all your profits, interest, compound and goes up with it. So that's something that you're able to take a little advantage of because, you know, as the price goes up, oh, you know, ride that wave. But also, too, I would think, at least for me personally, making sure you actually do come back, taking out some of those um, different uh, profits that you are collecting, different tokens. And like I said, going back into something, particularly it might be a stable coin. Or it might just be more, get yourself more BNB. Or it could be anything like, or you just hold that token. It's completely up to you. Flexibility, I mean, the APRs that you're getting, again, we're talking about high APRs. And we're talking about getting tokens daily here. Um, and so far, on pancake swap, so I'm doing cake. Got about 62 cake, uh, which is equivalent to about a uh, thousand, some change. So far, harvested at least like $10. And like, you know, I'm trying to think. It's almost been, I think, almost been a full week. I believe it's almost been a full week. 10 bucks. Not too shabby, if you ask me. Not too shabby. And also, two reasons why. I'm particularly staking cake to earn true USD because, well, it's a stable coin. You know, if cake does continue to go up, cake I'm staking, you know, that's going to obviously make money as well. And then if anything would happen as far as like cake dip in, well, I got some true USD. Go ahead, and buy some more during the dip. So that's this is what I mean when I say, you know, being able to take advantage of the DeFi market, there's multiple ways, multiple ways. Um, the other platform that I've been using, we got Pancake Bunny. <laughs> and folks, again, don't don't look into the names too much because I know it's like, what? But for what the platform does and for what the tokens names, I mean, does kind of you know, go hand in hand. But again... We come over here to Pancake Bunny. I'm doing the same thing as far as on here. I'm staking bunny tokens, uh, using these bunny tokens to leverage, earn some rap B and B, um, earn some cake and bunny. Uh, that's something about this platform that I really kind of like uh, is the fact that you can stake one, earn double on the comeback as far as tokens go in i was thinking about you know obviously these rates fluctuate that's something you kind of got to keep your eye out for which is something i've been kind of noticing um i like the fact that you know you are able to come on here with some stable coins and not just earn stable coins you can earn the stable coins up plus their token so again can i get that you know that one for two it's kind of it's kind of solid and just again if you're staking bunny collecting stable coins you're able to kind of hedge your risk a little bit and just like i said be able to capitalize on those opportunities as far as when dips come um they have some liquidity pool tokens as well that you can kind of get into uh to earn some of these other tokens but again you know the two pools I'm in currently, both APRs are over uh, 100%. So you can't really complain there. And again, wrap B and B, wrap B and B. Same thing, you know. It's B and B, and you can <laughs> you can earn some. Because for me, I was thinking to myself, I was looking at some of these tokens that you're able to earn. I'm like, hmm, where else would you even be able to earn some like? In my eyes, some you know, easy interest free uh, rap B and B. 
Like, I don't know too many places that come off the top of my head, but I'm like, oh, the fact that you're able to steak bunny and get some cake, then we could take that cake that I've been stacking over, over here from Pancake Bunny, go over to Pancake Swap, take that cake, you know, start staking something else over there on Pancake Swap. So just being able to kind of just go from platform to platform. Very nice, very nice. And as you know, as far as Pancake Bunny, we got a lot of cake on this one too. We got about 61K equivalent right now. The price is about a rack and some change. Uh, as far as what I've earned so far on cake, and I want to say I might have claimed some earlier uh, beforehand. Right now we're currently sitting on, you know, three bucks, some change. For Bunny, you know, a dollar and some change. Not too shabby, not too shabby. Again, this is something that is coming in daily. You are yielding daily. You are farming and you are getting some, some returns back daily. And on that one too, you know, with the daily percentage, I'm at a solid 0.20%. Not too shabby, right? Not too shabby. Uh, as far as... The other one where I'm staking bunny. This one, eh, I don't really got too much in there, but you know, like 80, 80 bones in there. But off the eighty dollars so far, we've gotten seventy five cents back. That's you know, I don't. There's been times where <laughs> I've had eighty bucks in my bank account, and they ain't not giving me nothing, bruh. Ain't they giving me no dividends? But daily here, ooh, a nice solid, solid 0.32%. That is, that's, you can't, what more could you ask for? I mean, I mean, it's a win-win again. I'm earning rap BNB, so the rap BNB at this current price, obviously, as rap BNB goes up, yeah, yeah, you get it? Yeah, I hope you follow me now. Hope it's all making sense. Um, and the other, let's say, platform that I'm using where I'm like, all right, let me go ahead and let's go ahead and try to take this same logic. Let's go ahead and try to replicate these results. Um, Ape Swap don't have too much volume on here. Uh, right now, I got like five bucks, some change. Uh, staking, obviously, banana to earn some more banana because, you know, their token current price, $2, some change, not, not a whole lot. But there's always that, well, you know, the token goes up. Hey, we chilling. And then I'm earning some watch as well, which is uh, attached to this other platform, this other project. And I've came on to this platform, seeing some other tokens that I'm like, ooh, ooh. Might have to do some research and uh, kind of get involved because... We are able to, again, like I said, stake, earn some other tokens. If these other tokens, you know, perhaps blow up. Now you got some easy returns that, like I said, you could take these returns back, go to BNB, go to a different token. It's pretty up to you. But I like the fact that being on the buy and smart chain, fees are not that high compared to Ethereum. Because we know... You've been involved in space long enough. Ethereum gas fees can't get high. They can get mighty high. And at the end of the day, you're like, I don't know if I want to pay that much on fees for sending some, you know, some either some funds or NFT, whatever the case you may be, you might be transacting on the blockchain. You're just like, those fees, ah. But again, for me, I'm trying to take advantage of all these different pools farming. Again, I, I I look at this as like you're almost in a sense kind of like mining because it's like you're you're getting something every day, and that's kind of the nice part is, well, you can look at this and play. Oh yeah, my money is working every day. I'm yielding something, but the defy market, like I said, it is. It is a very, very interesting space. There's a couple other tokens that I want to um, get my hands on. But now that I know that 
I have all these different platforms where I can leverage these tokens. Because at the end of the day, money's money. Um, I put in, you know, my initial deposits. As long as I get that back on the, the back end, it's like, shoot. What if I'm, you know, harvesting these other tokens? I'm waiting for the opportune time. Then I go into a different token. Next thing you know, that token takes off. Shoot, next thing you know, you might be able to just get your initial back on something like that happening. It's possible. Seen it happen. But I just like the fact that, again, being able to earn something. Something's better than nothing. Every single day. Every single day it compounds. And then obviously, we have runs. Now you're really chilling because you look at it this way. Oh, you know, maybe, yeah, you did make 200 profit. Well, now it doubled cause just because the price of the token, market went up. It's happened. Seen it. It's very doable. But the DeFi market, again, uh, still doing my research, still trying to get familiar with the space. I know there's a lot, a lot to it. Uh, but I'm definitely a fan of these different little platforms where, yeah, you could, like I said, you are going to be earning their native token, which is fine with me. But to be able to use your native token to get other tokens, that's where I'm like, ooh, it's a little interesting. Now, your strategy could potentially change because let's just say you go ahead, come in with one token. But that one token now leads you to four tokens. Just because of how you maneuvered during trends, during you know, the dips and all that. Because I probably think, you know, I'm able to just harvest this stuff every day, get to a point where, you know, we're, we I want to get to a point where it is harvesting like about 50, 50 bones to a hundred bones a day. That's, that's not too shabby for a farm. I would say with these type of daily APRs again, I mean, at this point, it's just percentages. We just doing, we just doing statistics at this point. I mean, daily. I have never seen something like this. But again, being in this space, you, you know, these type of moments happen because I'm thinking to myself right now, all right, by the time I, by the time tomorrow, what, tomorrow comes, it could be, you know, easily 10 bucks plus in there. And it's just like, sheesh, we need to allocate some more capital over here. But like I said, all this stuff is a risk. Uh, so first, you need you really need to do your own research, on advice, anything. Because you know what, I ain't no financial advisor. I'm not sure, I probably gave that disclaimer earlier, but the disclaimer is always there. As far as you've been tuning in, for those of y'all that are new, that's your disclaimer right there. Um. But like I said, I've seen I've seen it happen to other people. So I'm just like, you know what? Let me like let me get said, let me go ahead and do this research, get in the lab, figure this thing out, create a strategy. Cause I know there's a strategy where you can use this and be a uh have a little portfolio that's actually like almost market proof in the sense of well, you're constantly earning daily. Do you really need to worry about when it's bull or bearish? I mean, yeah, maybe to a certain extent, but I would think, shoot, you get all these tokens as it rises, sell them profits, go ahead, go back to a stable coin. Take advantage of that. Park market keeps going up. All right, at least you got some of your positions still alive. Before you come in with that new money. But I gotta say, this is this is a project right here that has caught my attention uh, to a point where I'm just like, all right, let's go ahead and try to stuff this bad boy. Let's go ahead and stuff this one. 
um, because I just found out today uh, that Wallet, Olipio, sponsor guys, (laughs) they have added Binance Smart Chain. Yeah. So now you'll be able to, that's right, have all your tokens on the Binance Smart Chain. Thank you. So, definitely excited to see that wallet, play with it, get it going. Because that is that is the ultimate wallet I think everybody needs to have. You got to have a cold wallet. Something that is not connected to computer and none. And it has like a you know nice little Monomics card that comes with it as well. Like I said, I can't wait to unbox that bad boy. Shout out to them boys at Lipio. Thank you. Got that Lipio Titan. Um, mm, and again, ooh. Crypto, of course, is always in the news, but there's some, some interesting leeway, some interesting things that should be popping off. Potentially this week, um, also the next, I would say, month or so. It's it's feeling very, uh, again, vibes of a, a run coming, I would say, somewhere down the road as far as like around like somewhere like what, maybe late Q3. But, ooh. I think this next one we have it might yeah, it might be heavy. I'm talking about heavy, but hopefully you guys are prepared. You're excited because I know I am. Crypto's coming with another bang bang. Mark, I'm telling y'all, and even if the market doesn't take another, we gonna if we gonna stay in these dips. Hey, I ain't got no problem buying dips. And then patiently wait and just hodl and then boom hello but see some of y'all not patient enough to catch those big ones because i've gone some of those bad boys and it's nice but the patience it's a game it's a game it's all a game question is are you patient enough to get those big gains they're out there, folks. Even today, I mean, getting like some solid 5%, 10%. Of this, it's not too shabby. In a day, it's not too shabby. It's not too shabby. But I'm going to go ahead and get on out of here, man. This is your host, the Wolf of Crypto, man. And I got to say, appreciate y'all tuning into the cast. Y'all guys are enjoying Maybe you might be learning a little something, something. You know, who knows? I don't know. But as you guys know, you guys can catch me on Breaker, CastBox, Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, Overcast Podcasts, Radio Public, and the boys at Spotify. And of course, until the next episode, I'm your host, Wolf Crypto. Peace.